Hey guys, Footy Manager TV here, and welcome to episode number 10 now of the Sunderland Next Gen FIFA 14 career mode. Really happy to get through 10 episodes, uploading these a lot now, and you're going to see more of them uh, because I'm getting back into it. It really doesn't take for much for me to get into. I've gone from a couple days ago uh, thinking about stopping career mode completely now to recording at least today, um, doing three commentaries on a video. So it can change really quick for me. And the biggest thing is on Sunderland, or no, more so just career mode, when I just lose motivation to make a video for it, it's because of the results more than anything. It's not because um, of what people think of it. Like, it's it's not that reason anymore, definitely not because of people's comments. It's just more so me losing and not wanting to show it. That's the main reason. As you can see, we defended well for the whole game, well, up at least to the 65th minute most of the game, and then we just conceded a goal. It's it's, it's just too hard uh, to maintain a uh, to maintain a thing, and I don't want to play unprofessional because then people say, they com like, compare me to other people who are playing on higher levels, like playing world class and I'm playing on professional, and I don't want that to happen. I just want to play on this level, and you can't forget which team I am. I am Sunderland, and you got to see how they're doing in real life um, up until this stage in December. Yeah, they were in the relegation zone, so you have to keep that in mind as well. Um, I'm doing similar to them in how they were doing in real life, so you have to keep that in mind. Don't forget that. Um, I'm being a relegation threatening team uh, that I've expected to get relegated in real life, to be honest. So uh, that is where... Look at that, and look at that doesn't help as well when you concede one shot on target and they score from that, and we had more than double of their shots on targets. Uh, it's just really frustrating game after game where I feel the game is at least equal, but on those stats, I probably deserve to win. Four shots on target to one. Uh, it's just these things that are really frustrating me, and that's yeah, that's the situation uh, why... Uh, that's more than anything why I didn't want to make the videos, because the results were bad, but I've got to play through it because I know there's going to be positive signs uh, down the track, and i just got to get these uploaded and out of the way, because uh, following videos are going to be very impressive, and that's all I can say. I don't want to give away too much, but... Uh, positive signs are just going to be around the corner and you've got to go through this stage um, if you think about it in real life possibilities or real life situations more so um, every team at this level sort of or yeah every team at not like a top four team where you can just use money sure I could be like Man City and buy t big players and uh, win easy and buy the best players in the game and win uh, but I don't think that will prove much things like I don't see the point of that I could um, yeah you could, you could shadow behind that could somehow prove you are a good player by buying good players but I don't see the point of that I want to do it another way and that's uh, gradually building a team and hopefully I can do that but here this surely West Ham a team around the same situation this is where we have to get a result and not just a draw away we have to get a win here it's a crucial stage is going to the stage or I could possibly yeah I could there is a possibility for me to get fired but you know I've already said I've recorded into the second season so that is not going to happen uh, but more so just for the confidence of the team at this stage. It really needs to lift up. The confidence of the team needs to lift up. And I could almost uh, now go to that stage where I could say I don't enjoy it, but I'm actually, I, I really enjoy editing career mode videos, like showing the goals and that, showing important things. I like editing them actually. So just so talking about bad results. I don't like talking about bad results. Like who would? <laughs> That's the main thing. So West Ham there was a good piece of play. I think... Um, that would have been offside, uh, not quite too sure, but nonetheless, we defended it well. We have a chance here. Uh, Verratti, a good piece of passing. This is what I always want to do. That's what I always want to do. We get a nice early goal there to get in the lead. That's a fantastic signs. Uh, that is positive signs, what I want to show you. Positive signs, that's what I always like to talk about. And that's what I always talk about, what I want to talk about, if that makes sense. Um, that's what I want to show, positive signs. Like There's no point in showing negativity, even though um, I have to. It's just their things I just want to get out of the way quickly, and it, i got to get through it. It's, it's a hard situation. Like I know how managers feel in real life now when you're a bad team and you keep losing. I, I get the feeling. It's not good, and especially when you think you're going to win and you concede a goal. It's really frustrating, but again, i got to realize what I am with Sunderland. I can't be expecting to win games all the time, but I have to win games surely eventually. Uh, because it gets really annoying, but here we went through with Altador, went through, went bang, and we scored um, what seems to be a winning goal in the 60th minute, or around then at least. Um, Altador is my positive sign this season, um, at least in the first half of the season now he's done well, but eventually as the season goes on, 
uh, he doesn't seem to be as much as of an impact, and you might think that could be a bad thing. Results could get even worse if he's not scoring goals, but late in the game here, I had to hold on to the ball. I could not lose this, or yeah, lose the three points. I had to pick up a three points here. It was crucial for the future of my, um, yeah, the future of me at Sunderland, the future of my managerial career. I have to be sticking it out. I have to be uh, doing whatever it takes uh, to get the three points, and that's what I did in this game. I did whatever it took, and uh, somehow I did escape, especially had to score another goal to get the three points, and I did that. I did what I needed to do, uh, waste time at the end. I wasn't going to concede another 90th-minute goal. Uh, they, they weren't even trying to get me as well, so I was, gonna, I was just thinking they didn't want to win. They were just too tired, and they just wanted to finish the game like I did as well. Uh, we did, like, it's hard to say, like, you don't really know what happens in the full match, so it's hard, and obviously I can't show you a full match, or it takes forever, and again, it would take forever to get through the full game, but again, it was a situation, it should have been the same as the last match as well against Tottenham, we probably should have won, uh, because of shots on target, this game we had five shots on target, and only conceded two, and still from the two, we... Uh, we still conceded one goal from that, which is very disappointing, so Pickford, uh, he wants to talk about his role at the club, and this is something that feels more repetitive for me once again. Now, I get those a lot and just feels repetitive and and you lose interest in that way as well. But still, I'm enjoying I'm enjoying playing it because um, at the end of the season, I made some really good transfers. I actually enjoyed that part of the career a lot. I just, yeah, I felt I really enjoyed it. Um, I'm not sure what... I think we had a game here against Chelsea. I'm not sure if I simmed it or something. We'll see what happens. I am going to be simming games from now on because I need to get some results, but... Um, yeah, I just did that because I, I don't want to get fired. I didn't, yeah, at this stage, I didn't want to get fired, so I simmed some games and made sure I won. Uh, but that's just because I want to show my youth tips. I didn't want to get fired again because I wanted to show you the point of why I'm doing career mode videos. I want to get my youth tips out there and how to develop players, and that's uh, what I want to do. So, like I said previously in previous episodes, results aren't too important. Like, if I just... Uh, sim games it shouldn't matter because i want to get my tips of squad building out there like not squad building like ultimate team in career mode it's different just improving your squad as a whole and um like these here and there league matches aren't that important there's so many league matches we're sunderland we're not expecting to win them anyway or the majority of them anyway like against chelsea like you're expecting to lose so like i wasn't going to waste my time again going back to the point of saying wasting my time i don't want to waste my time um on what i know is going to happen so I'm just going to like sim some games to get through it, to get to the points, uh, to get to the point of this uh, career. And that is bringing some... I want to get into the second season fairly quickly because that's where uh, my own management is going to come to the fore uh, with my new signings and building the way I want and playing positively in the second season. That's what's going to come. Motivate my players at home. Even though at home you say we probably should stand a chance. And you look at our scouting network here, I probably wanted to look for some more players. Uh, because that's what you got to look for in your team. To look, this is what I mean. This is where you look to improve your team. You're going to look for signings, and yeah, um, if you don't like what I talk about, it's it's not my control. If you don't enjoy it, but if you do enjoy it, that's good. It's um, I appreciate it a lot. But if you don't, um, it's not something I control because I'm just whatever's in my mind is talking about. I'm just going running straight off my mind. Nothing scripted. Like I said previously, it's straight off my head. So I'm talking about what I think straight in my head. So that cannot be changed. If you don't like it, um, yeah, there's nothing I can do about that. Um, and yeah, the only way I can get better, videos get better, well, I think um, hopefully people enjoy it anyway, but still, um, the way they will improve is by playing better because then I have something positive to talk about and that's why I'm really trying hard in games and I get frustrated uh, when I don't pick up those results. It's just a natural thing that happens. I suppose you can say some people put on easy, but I don't think putting on an easier level will achieve anything for myself. I'll just lose interest even more so um, if I'm playing on professional. So yeah, um, this is where we're sitting right now. I think, the, yeah, there will be in the next episode, the sim of Chelsea. I think I simmed it. Like I said, I'm in the second season now. I can't really remember too much stuff happening. We've got four wins. We're out of the relegation zone, so that's a little bit positive sign. But anyway, it's good to get a win, so at least I can say I won a match. <laughs> uh, anyway, um, that's enough for now. Hopefully, you did enjoy it. Like the win as well against West Ham, and I'll see you guys next time.